everyone welcome back it's almost Halloween so I thought this would be the perfect time to start a new supernatural series that I had in mind supernatural in real life basically I'm gonna go through the episodes and I'm gonna discuss the main antagonists and if they are based in uh, lore and mythology or if they're simply made up for the show um, I thought that would be really interesting especially considering even though episode one starts with a demon, I'm not really going to get in to demons with this episode because the main antagonist is the lady in white or the white lady, which is a fantastic ghost story. And pretty much every state in the United States has a woman in white ghost somewhere within their borders. Every country uh, has their own flavor of the story. And the one day grocery shopping, I found this. It, it called to me, and I'm pretty sure um, in here they talk about, uh, was it the world's spookiest true tales? And the one is from uh, Latin America. It's La Lorna. It's basically about a woman who learns about her husband cheating, and she's distraught, and she drowns her two children. <laughs> And she is immediately overwhelmed with guilt and kills herself, but then she's doomed to wander, uh, seeking her children and or revenge. So I'm pretty sure that this is where Supernatural got the idea for the pilot episode, since that's what happens in the pilot episode. And again, this magazine, I I've always been interested in ghosts. I love ghost stories. I love true hauntings. Um, there's one by me that they put a brewery in and I love to try and get my friends to go there just so I can sit and look for ghosts. Um, my favorite ghost and though not a woman in white that has always intrigued me was the brown lady of Raynham Hall. And there's the picture. That picture is in multiple ghost story books that I have from growing up and it just always intrigued me. I, again, I love ghosts. It's just... I, I want to believe, I want to see a ghost, I want to have an experience. But that's, I'm, I'm straying a little bit. Uh, the woman, the like I said, the Lady in White is based in um, truth in that there is much lore surrounding the Lady in White. It's usually someone who died young. It, it's either betrayal, she killed herself, or unrequited love, and she's doomed to wander and either seek revenge or seek that lost love. Uh, you, it's usually in rural areas. You drive down the road, you see her, you pick her up, you know, you, you come to the place maybe where she died and she disappears. Um, some have wondered, uh, there's a story in Pennsylvania, actually a couple different stories in Pennsylvania, uh, about a woman in white and the car veers and you don't know if she was trying to warn you of an accident or trying to cause your accident. And in this first episode, uh, they do talk about the salt. Uh, I, th I believe they do have the shotgun with the salt pellets that they use to disperse the ghost. And again, salt is something that is used to ward off ghosts, evil spirits. Um, it's because of it, it represents purity. Now, I don't know if a salt circle, um, there was the old, you throw salt over your shoulder to ward off the devil. And I guess because it distracted him. So, yes, salt is used. Again, is it is it the whole salt circle and stay within the salt circle? It's not going to affect you. I don't know. Um, with salt is also silver. And again, it's that purity. Salt and silver is supposed to be purity, which is supposed to ward off uh, the ghosts and the evil spirits. And another thing that they got right that is based in uh, mythology and lore is iron also wards off ghosts and evil spirits that's technically you know the horseshoe that's supposed to bring you good luck because it's actually just it's supposed to ward off evil so google lady in white or white lady you will find 
like I said, every state, every country has multiple occurrences of their own white lady tales. So again, I hope to make this a series um, to, uh, to go over, again, you know, what's made up, what's solely 100% made up for the show and what isn't. And I hope you learned just maybe a little something. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe, especially if you want to learn more about other uh, ghosts and monsters and demons that are in the TV show Supernatural and maybe some of the true lore surrounding them. And until next time.